going to do some yoga and we're going to get right to the mat and just do a traditional yoga, maybe a little bit of wall towards the end if you have a wall. <laughs> I mean, of course you have a wall, but where you can get to um, and still hear or maybe see, but you don't really even need to see. You're just going to listen to some of the cues. We're going to do a little bit of a legs up the wall um, to finish today, but let's start this morning in tabletop. So come down onto your hands and your knees. So hands are right underneath your shoulders. Nice flat back. We're going to do some deep breathing here. So allow the belly to drop. Pull the shoulders away from your ears. Inhale breath through the nose. And then on the out breath, you're going to round up chin to chest. Look right between the knees here. Again, inhale, belly drops, head up. And then exhale breath, rounding, spreading the shoulders apart. Waking up your spine, waking up your core here. Again, inhale, belly drops. You should feel a wonderful stretch in the abdominals in this position. And exhale, wonderful stretch in the rhomboids, in the traps, in the lats, in the lumbar area. One more time, inhale, belly drops, head up. And then exhale, breath, rounding your spine towards the ceiling. Now slide your hands way out here to the very top of the mat. Spread the fingers nice and wide apart. Take a big inhale breath first. And then on the out breath, keeping your arms super straight and keeping your palms planted right there at the very top. Drop your head down in between those arms. And just enjoy that wonderful stretch through the chest, the shoulders, the lats. You can begin to shift and sway from left to right. And as your shoulder girdle shifts over to one side, swing the pelvis over to the other side. So you're creating a nice lateral stretch on the side of your body there. And just back and forth a couple more times, breathing all the while. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Now pressing the palms down, look up, inhale, breath. Exhale, stack right hand on top of your left, dive your head through the arms, then roll so that the right shoulder drops, left one lifts, and you take a little peek underneath that left arm. Stay there and breathe, nice long inhale. Exhale it out. And then coming back up, walk the hands over to the right. Stack the left hand on top, inhale. Exhale, drop your head down and then shifting into the left shoulder, look underneath your right arm and just breathe. Good, now coming back up, inhale breath. And then exhale, slide the right hand so it's right underneath your elbow. You're going to rest your forehead on the mat right behind your forearm. One arm extended child's pose stretch. Stay for another breath. Inhale. Exhale it out. Good. And then lifting back up. Place the right hand there. Inhale, breath. Exhale. Slip this left hand right underneath your elbow. And then as you drop the forehead down to the mat, one arm extended child's pose on this side. Breathe. Okay, now as you come back up, place the left hand there, inhale breath. And then exhale, we're gonna thread this right arm underneath so the palm is up. As you slide the hand across the floor, drop your shoulder inside of your head down to the mat, and then rotate, wonderful rotation going on here in that upper torso. Wonderful stretch for your shoulders, your back. Good. Coming back up, switch sides, right hand those there, inhale breath, and then exhale, thread that left arm underneath, so the palm is up, you slide it off the mat across the floor, drop the shoulder and the side of the head down, and then rotate, looking up underneath that arm towards the ceiling, and just breathe. Good. 
good. Now coming back up, inhale, breath. Exhale, drop the forearms down, flip the palms up, and then bring your head behind the elbows, pressing the forehead into the mat. And then you're gonna bend the elbows and try to reach the fingertips down the spine, stretching into your triceps and your lats. So try to kind of dig those elbows down into the mat, feeling that deeper stretch. And then releasing those hands back out, flip your palms over, inhale breath, lift the head up. And then exhale, walk the hands closer in and then tuck your toes under and back and you can kind of drag your toes across the mat right there. Hope you feel a good stretch in the bottoms of your feet, stretching the arches, that plantar fascia, getting a wonderful stretch there. All right, so inhale breath, just flat back neutral position. On the exhale breath, round your back. So scoop that belly up and in, tuck your chin, and then lift the knees up, straighten your legs. Maybe kind of shimmy the toes back a little farther, and let's come into our very first downward facing dog of the day. You can maybe walk the hands a little further ahead to get a wider stance here. So what we're gonna do is just rise up on the toes and then shift forward so that you're just kind of looking right over those hands. Inhale, keep your hips high though. And then on the exhale, push back into downward facing dog. So let's do that a couple of times. You're gonna rise up on the toes, shift forwards. You're still keeping your hips high. Inhale here. Exhale, push the hips back, melt the heels down. And again, rise up on the toes, shifting forwards, inhale breath. And then exhale breath, hips go up, heels press down, and breathe. Last time, rise up on the toes, shift the shoulders forwards, inhale breath. And then exhale breath, hips go up, heels press down, and just stay here and breathe. You can walk it out, so shift the weight back and forth from one foot to the other. All right, walk the feet in maybe just a little bit closer and they are about hip width apart. So you're still in down dog, it's just a little shorter stance. So take an inhale breath. On the exhale, drag that left hand across diagonally. You're gonna wrap your hand either around your hamstring, your knee, your calf, your ankle, just wherever it is that you can grab and then rotate as you look underneath that right arm. Breathe. Good, release, place that left hand there, inhale. And then exhale, right hand comes across diagonally to this left leg. So wherever you can grab, maybe it's just here, maybe it's the knee, calf, ankle, foot, wherever. And as you grab, pull and rotate to the left, look under your arm. Breathe. Good, right hand back to the top, inhale. And then exhale once again, wrap that left hand around the right ankle, rotate your torso, look under that arm. Breathe. And then take that left hand back to the top, inhale. And then exhale, right hand grabs around the ankle, rotate that torso, look underneath that left arm and breathe. Good, release. Place the right hand there at the top of the mat, inhale. And then exhale, shift it into plank, top of a push up. So we are in high plank. You can either drop to the knees if you want or keep your legs straight. Scoop your belly in, tuck the tailbone down, lengthen the neck, gazing out in front of the edge of the mat there. Inhale. Exhale, shift forwards, drop the knees down, and then we're gonna come all the way down to your belly, yay. Slide your hands forwards a little bit so that the forearms are down on the mat. Inhale, lift up a little bit. Exhale, release. Again, inhale, pressing down through those hands. Lift up, maybe your elbows lift up a little bit, meaning you're coming up higher. 
And then exhale, breath, relax. Come back down. Last time, inhale, breath, pressing down. However much you can lift up where you feel no pain, should be no discomfort in your lower back. And then exhale, breath, release. Slide the hands back right underneath your shoulders, elbows in close. Inhale, push up. Exhale, round the back, dive the chin to the chest, push back into extended child's pose. And just one long breath here, inhale. Exhale it out. Good, and then coming up into tabletop, tuck the toes under, inhale. Exhale, straighten the legs all the way up, coming into your downward facing dog. Walk the feet in a little bit closer. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, take that left hand across to the back, right leg and twist. Breathe. And then release the left hand to the top of the mat, inhale breath. Exhale, take the right hand across, grab around your left ankle and twist. And then release, one more time, inhale breath, right hand to the top of the mat. Exhale breath, take your left hand around the ankle, rotate. And then release, left hand back to the top of the mat, inhale. Exhale, take that right hand across, grab around that ankle, rotate. Good job. Place the right hand at the top of the mat. Inhale, breath. And exhale. Shifting into plank, top of a push-up. Inhale, breath right here. Exhale, push forwards, drop your knees, and curl your toes. Let's come all the way down again to your belly. Slide the hands forwards a bit. Inhale, breath, pressing up. And then exhale, release. Do it again, inhale breath, pressing down to lift up. Maybe your elbows come up a bit. And then exhale, release. Last time, inhale breath, pressing down to lift up. And then exhale breath, relax. Slide the hands back, inhale, press up. Exhale, all the way back you go into extended child's pose. One breath here, inhale. Exhale. Come up into tabletop with your toes under, inhale, breath. Exhale, breath, round the back, tuck the chin, straighten your legs, all the way back you go into downward facing dog. Good job. All right, so from here, you're gonna drop onto the forearms. Bring your hands together. Walk your feet closer together as well. Right leg lifts up, inhale. And then exhale, breath. Bend the knee, scoop the belly in, rise up on that left toes, and then bring your knee to your tricep or elbow, and then go back up, inhale. Do it again, shifting forwards, knee to the right tricep. Inhale, breath, leg goes up. Exhale, set your foot down. Other side, so now the left leg goes straight up. Inhale. Exhale, you're gonna rise up on the ball of the foot. You're gonna bend the knee, keep your hips high though, and see if you can bring knee to triceps. Go again, inhale, leg up. And then exhale, breath, bring your knee to the triceps. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, set your foot down. Again, right leg up, inhale. Exhale, keeping your hips high, scoop the belly under and then bring your knee to the triceps. Go back up, inhale. Exhale, knee to triceps. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, set your foot down. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale, bend the knee, scoop your belly, knee to triceps. Again, inhale up. Exhale, scoop your belly in, knee to triceps. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, lower your foot down. One more big inhale breath, just stay here. 
And then exhale, lower the knees down, uncurl your toes, and push all the way back to kneeling. Hands are right over those thighs. Shoulders roll around to the back. Here we go, inhale, arms float up. Exhale, draw your hands to heart center, firm the belly as you do this. Again, inhale, breath up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, breath, arms sweep up. Exhale, breath, lower those arms down and then you're gonna interlace behind your back. Chest out, chin up, inhale, look up. Oh, feels so good. Exhale, melt it forwards on your head you go. Arms lift up, breathe. Okay, release, drop the hips and then float those arms up overhead, inhale. Exhale, draw your hands to heart center. Inhale, breath, arms float up. Exhale, lower those arms down. Interlace the opposite way with your fingers there. Chest out, chin up, inhale. And then exhale, breath, roll forwards, head to the mat. Lift those hips and let the arms fall over in front. And then release, come back up, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, inhale, breath, arms sweep up. Exhale, this time, hands are gonna dive all the way out here to the top of the mat. Tuck the toes under, straighten your legs out. Nice plank position here, inhale, breath. Exhale, send the sit bones up, downward facing dog. Right leg goes up for three leg dog, inhale. Exhale, now keeping your hips high, just like we did on the forearms in that dolphin, you're gonna bring that knee to the triceps. Go back up, inhale. Do it again, exhale, rise up on the ball of the foot back there, bring the knee to the triceps. Inhale, breath up you go. And then exhale, lower your foot down next to the left. Switch sides, here we go, left leg up, inhale, breath. Exhale, rise up on the ball of the foot, scoop the belly, keep your hips high, that knee is gonna come to the triceps. Go back up, inhale. Exhale, rise up, knee to triceps. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, breath, lower down. One more time each side, right leg up, inhale, breath. Exhale, knee to triceps. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, knee to triceps. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, breath, lower down. Left leg up last time, inhale, breath. Toes to the ceiling. Exhale, rise up on the toes. Pull that knee under, squeeze your abs. Do it again, inhale up. Exhale, breath, pull the knee to the triceps. Inhale, breath, three leg dog up. Exhale, breath, lower your foot down. Good, now lift your head up. Let's step the right foot right up there in between the hands. You're gonna drop the back knee down. Now open up your chest to the right. So stretch this right arm up, inhale. And then exhale, breath, lower the hand down. You're gonna pick up that left foot. Flip the foot over there. Now left arm reaches up, inhale, look up. And then exhale, breath, lower it down. Pick up your foot, come back to that start position. And once again, we go to this way. Inhale, right arm up, look. Exhale, down. Pick up your foot, flip it over there. So now we're really opening up through the hips here, right? And left arm is gonna reach up and look up, inhale. And then exhale, breath, hand down. Tuck the toes under and back. Straighten your back leg out and then step back into downward facing dog. Big inhale breath here. Exhale it out. And then look forwards. Let's step left foot right up there in between your hands. Go ahead and drop the back knee down. Left arm goes up, inhale, reach for the ceiling there. And then exhale breath, lower the hand down, pick up that back foot, flip your foot over there. And then stretch the right arm up as you turn to the back. Breathe, inhale. 
And then exhale, breath. Float the hand down, spin the foot back. Once again, here, inhale. Left arm reaching up. And then exhale, breath. Lower the hand down, pick up that foot, flip it over there, and then right arm goes up, inhale, reach. And then exhale, breath, float your hand down, tuck the toes under, straighten the leg, inhale. Exhale, step on back into downward facing dog. Lift your head up, let's go once again. So right foot steps right up there in between your hands. Go ahead and drop your back knee down, uncurl those toes. Right arm reaching up, inhale. Exhale, lower down, pick up the foot, spin it over there. Reach your left arm up and reach. And then exhale, breath, float the hand down once again. Let's go to the right, inhale, right arm reaching up. And then exhale, lower the hand down. Rotate over there, left arm up, reach. And then exhale, breath, tuck the toes under, straighten your leg, step back into downward facing dog. Lift your head up, step your left foot now in between the hands. Go ahead and drop your back knee down and curl those toes. Let's take it this way. Left arm reaching up, inhale, look up. Exhale, breath, lower the hand down, pick up your foot, flip it over there. Right arm reaching up, inhale. And then exhale, lower it down once again. Left arm reaching up, inhale, reach, reach, reach. And then exhale, breath, float the hand down. Pick up your foot, flip it over there. And then last time this way, right arm reaching up, inhale. And then exhale, breath, float your hand down, pick up the foot, tuck the toes under, inhale. Exhale, step on back into downward facing dog. Let your head hang heavy here. Just swing it up and down, side to side. Circle the crown of the head around both ways. All right, so from here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift your head up and gaze to the top of the mat. You're gonna bend the knees and spring load it. Walk, run, or jump to the very top of your mat and then just come into a forward fold hang. You can grab opposite elbows like this and just swing it and sway it. Whatever feels good for you. Just a little side to side, a twist and turn, maybe a little back and forth. Release the hands down to the mat. Your feet are about hip width apart. So what I want you to do is straighten the legs. So really pull those kneecaps up as you engage your quads. Slide the hands up the shin bones just right underneath the knees. Push as if you're trying to lengthen your spine out this way. Inhale breath. On an exhale breath, bend only your left knee. Place the left hand down right next to that left foot and then just try to put that right hand on your hip and turn to look up. Good, release the hand back down to the mat. Both legs are straight, inhale, half lift. Exhale, this time only bend the right knee, place the right hand on the mat close to the foot, and then as you rotate your torso, let's just place that left hand, at least to start with here on your hip, pull this shoulder back and look up. Good, and then just release the hand back down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, left knee bends, left hand down, hand on the hip, or if you want, stretch the right arm up to the ceiling. Keep that right leg straight, left knee is bent, inhale, look up. And then exhale, breath, come back down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bending only the right knee, right hand on the mat, left hand to the hip, or from here if you want, stretch the arm up to the ceiling and look up, inhale, breath. And exhale, breath down. Let's go one more time on each side. So inhale, half lift, look forwards. 
Exhale, left knee bends, left hand down, hand to the hip or right arm goes up to the ceiling. Inhale, look up. Maybe let that arm even fall back more if you can. Good, and then just float the hand back down to the mat. Inhale, half lift, look forwards. Exhale, breath, bend the right knee, right hand goes there, left hand on the hip, or if you want, stretch this arm all the way up, maybe even let it fall back there behind you more. Inhale, breath. And then exhale, breath, float your hand down. Inhale, half lift. And then exhale, fold, grab around the ankles or calves or knees or hammies, wherever you can grab. And let's come into a very deep forward fold. Good, now from here, hands back to the mat, inhale, half lift. And then exhale, fold. Drop the hips, bending the knees just a little bit. Lift the head up, and then from there, nice slow reverse swan dive. Inhale, breath all the way up we go. Exhale, hands come right to heart center. Shoulders relax down, firm the belly. Do that again, inhale, breath up. And then exhale, breath, lower the hands down to heart center. Inhale, breath, arms sweep up. Exhale breath, lower the arms down and around behind you. So what you're gonna do is interlace the fingers together, chest out, chin up, look up, inhale. Exhale breath, bend the knees a little, melt the belly forwards, head down, arms flow over in front. From here, release, chair pose, inhale breath, look up. And then exhale, forward fold. Reverse swan dive, inhale up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, chest expansion. This time interlace the opposite way with those fingers. Chest out, chin up, look up, inhale. And then exhale, breath. Bend the knees, melt forwards, head down, arms flow over in front. Breathe. Release, inhale breath, chair pose. Exhale, melt it into forward fold, straighten those legs. Reverse swan dive, inhale up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, breath, step the right foot back into lunge. Now you can bend the knee a little bit, you can bring it all the way down if you want. What we're gonna do is lift the head and chest up, sweep the arms over your head. Now if you want, you can lift that back leg up. You can straighten it all the way up for crescent lunge. So eyes are gazing up, inhale, breath. Now on the exhale breath, drop the elbows down, bend the back knee, get close but don't touch. Come back up, inhale. Exhale, come on down. One more time up. And then exhale, float those hands down. Left leg is gonna go all the way up into a three leg dog inhale. Exhale, plank, knee to opposite elbow. Again, inhale, three leg dog. Exhale, knee to opposite elbow. Inhale, three leg dog up. And exhale, set the foot right between the hands for lunge, big push off your back foot, feet together, and then forward fold. Reverse swan dive, inhale up. Exhale, hands to heart center, firm the belly. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, breath, half lift, gaze forwards. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, step your left foot back to lunge. Now you can drop the knee all the way down. You can just bend it a little bit so it's still up. Either way, you're gonna come on up. Arms are gonna go overhead. Straighten the leg if you want. Inhale, lengthening that torso up. Exhale, bend the elbows, lower down. Come back up, inhale. 
Exhale, draw the belly in, tuck the tail under. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, down you go. Take the right leg up, three leg dog inhale. Exhale, breath, plank, knee to opposite elbow. Again, inhale, breath, three leg dog up. Exhale, come to plank, knee to opposite elbow. Inhale, breath, three leg dog up. Exhale, swing your foot through for lunge and then a big push off your back foot, feet together, top of the mat and forward fold. Reverse one, dive, inhale up. Exhale. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step your right foot back to lunge as you bring your head and your chest up. Arms float over your head. Inhale, look up. And then exhale, let's go into airplane arms. Again, crescent lunge, arms reach up. Exhale, hinge forwards, go into airplane arms. And then inhale, breath, arms reach up. Exhale, float the hands down, left leg up, three leg dog, inhale. And then exhale, breath, come underneath with your knee, set your foot over there on the floor, just the edge of your foot right there. Do it again, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, bring the knee under, set your foot over there. Now, maybe see if your right arm can reach straight ahead. Bring your hand back down. Once again, three leg dog, inhale up. Exhale, bring the knee under, set your foot over there. You can stay here, you can go here, or start to really open up the chest to the ceiling. Look up, inhale, breath. Exhale, breath, hand comes down. Back you go, into three-leg dog, inhale. Exhale, swing your foot through, step right between the hands for lunge, and then a big push off your back foot. Feet come together, and forward fold. Reverse, one dive, inhale, up. Exhale, breath. Inhale, breath, arms sweep up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. And then exhale, breath, forward fold. Inhale, step your left foot back to lunge now. And then as you lift your head up, this thing keeps falling off my ear. Come up into a crescent lunge. Inhale, breath. And then exhale, breath, leaning forward. Sweep those arms back into airplane arms. Try to really push those shoulders away from your ears so that your neck is nice and long. Come back up, inhale, crescent lunge. And then exhale, breath, sweep those arms to the back. Inhale, breath, arms sweep up. Exhale, breath, hands to the mat, right leg up for three leg dog, inhale. Exhale, breath, come to plank, knee comes under, set your foot over there. So just the outer edge of this right foot on the floor, just keep it right there. If you wanna drop to your knee, that's an option. If you wanna kinda minimize that, Intensity in this upper body, shoulders and chest having to hold you up. Right leg goes back up again, inhale. Exhale, breath, bring your knee under, shoot your foot over there. Can you now maybe stretch your left arm straight ahead? Keep your hips high, drop your hand down. Right leg up, inhale, breath. Exhale, breath, bring the knee under, shoot your foot over there. You can, stay, you can stay here, you can go there, you can go there, or start to really open up your chest, look up, inhale. Good, bring your hand back down. Three leg dog, inhale, breath. Exhale, breath, swing your foot through, step between the hands for lunge, and then a big push off your back foot, feet together, and forward fold. Reverse, swan dive, inhale, up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Do that one more time, inhale up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step your right foot back to lunge. You're gonna drop that back knee down. You're gonna walk this left foot all the way over here to the right side of the mat and then go ahead and drop that knee down. 
I want you to look at your shin bones, see that it's parallel if you can to the very top of your mat, and then just have a sit and you can kind of scoot that leg back there more. If this is difficult, you just do a 90-90, meaning both knees are bent, and you're just gonna drop your chest towards that left foot. Otherwise, straighten the right leg out. Try to bring your chest directly over the shin and the knee. You can walk your forearms out there. You can stack your hands and rest your forehead there. However you want to do. back up. Place the hands on the mat. Tuck your toes under. Can you step back into down dog? Inhale. And then exhale. Step your right foot up here in between the hands. Go ahead and drop your back knee down. Now you're going to walk this right foot all the way over here to the left edge of the mat. And then as you drop your knee down, the shin is pretty much parallel if you can get it there to the very top of your mat. So if that's difficult, here is your option. It's called 90-90 or zigzag and you just drop your chest over towards that right foot. Otherwise, try to straighten that left leg way back there behind you. Bring your chest directly over your shin here. So forearms can come in front. You might be up here, you might be down lower. Just breathe. Good. Now we're going to bring the hands back beside your shin and knee. Tuck the toes under, straighten your leg out, and then step back into down dog. Inhale, breath. Exhale it out. Drop your knees down. Push your hips back. Walk, walk, walk. Okay, now just drag the hands across the mat, over the knees, onto those upper thighs, head and chest up here. Inhale breath, flute your arms up. On an exhale breath, draw those elbows down and around behind. Interlace the fingers together. Chest out, chin up, inhale breath. On an exhale breath, melt the belly forwards, head to the mat, roll to the crown of the head and let those arms fall over in front. And then as you slowly release, lower the hips down, float those arms up, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, breath, arms float up. Exhale, lower those arms down, and then interlace the opposite way with the fingers again. Inhale, chest out, chin up. And then exhale, breath, melt the belly forwards, head down. Come to the crown of your head. Let your hips go up a bit and breathe. And then as you release, you're going to slowly lower the hips down, arms float up, inhale breath. Exhale, hands to heart center, shoulders are relaxed down here. Do it again, inhale breath up. And then exhale, hands to heart center. From here, dive the hands way out to the top of the mat, toes under. Straighten your legs, inhale. Exhale, push up and back down dog. Lift your head up, step your right foot between the hands. Walk, 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 the foot over there. Drop down onto that hip, going into pigeon again. So however far out you wanna go with your body, totally up to you.
good. And then come back up, inhale. Exhale, drag this foot close underneath your hips and then come right up on top of that shin. And let's just do a little rock and roll here where you drop the hips over to the right and then drop your hips over to the left. So when you're here, you should feel a wonderful stretch all the way down that left side of the body. And then when you're here, just kind of a nice stretch for the hips. And then once again, coming back to the left edge, over to the right. And then last time, over to the left edge, stay here. And I want you to really reach this left arm out in front of you. Try to rotate that torso. Try to see your foot back there and then stretch that right arm back behind you. Inhale. On the exhale, can you bend the knee and grab a hold of your pants, your foot, your toe, your socks, whatever you can. And then we can come down onto that forearm for a deeper stretch. Try to draw the heel to the buttocks and really sinking your hips over here to the left edge of the mat. Breathe. Good, and then coming back up, release your foot slowly, and then bring the hands right beside your knee. And as you press the head and chest up, tuck the toes under, and step back into downward facing dog stretch. Big inhale here. And then exhale it out. Good, lift your head up, step left foot there right in between okay drop the knee down and let's come into pigeon again so however far out you want to go dropping your head and chest down flatten the hands maybe foreheads all the way to the mat you just go to where it feels great for you And bring the hand in, pull that left foot close to the groin underneath the hips. And as you come up, so you're kind of sitting on top of that heel, you're just gonna shift a little bit from the left edge of the mat over here to the right edge. So if you keep this right arm straight when you're dropping the hips over here, you should feel a wonderful stretch down the right side of the body into that lateral torso right there. Try to find that sweet spot that I'm talking about. That stretch right there on those obliques, on the hip flexors, on that psoas muscle. And shift over to the left, inhale. Exhale over to the right. And then over to the left, inhale. And then exhale, breath over to the right. Good. Now really stretch this right arm out in front of you there. Try to rotate your torso. So this right shoulder comes to the middle, left shoulder comes back. See if you can see your foot back there and then stretch that left arm back. Can you bend the knee, grab a hold of whatever you can. And then as you do, pull that heel in. You can come down onto the forearm for a deeper stretch as you pull the heel in towards the buttocks. And breathe. Feels so good. Can feel this all the way into those abdominals. All right. And then as you slowly let go, don't just let that foot flop down. <laughs> Hands right on the mat there. Chest up, toes under. Inhale. Exhale, push back into downward facing dog. And just breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Good job. Now just drop down to your knees, cross your ankles, push yourself back to a sit position and then just stretch those legs out in front of you straight. And we are going to finish up with some legs up the wall stuff. So 
probably when you're on your back and your legs are on a wall, wherever. You might not be able to see me, but trust me, the cues will be very simple. Nothing fancy, nothing tricky, where you've got to like, you know, turn your head and look wherever you're looking. Maybe you've just got your phone and then you can just have it right there. But let's give that a try. So I am going to take my mat and I'm gonna position it up against the wall here, like this. I'm gonna turn my back to you. Sorry, don't mean to, it's just the way to do this. So you wanna come next to the wall sitting this way first, okay, sort of close to the edge of the mat. This is, I think, a good way to kind of get yourself positioned in the right place. And then as you start to roll down, you're gonna kind of spin your hips and then just extend the legs straight up the wall. And then get your glutes right up against the baseboard there, so don't be too far away. And then just to start with, all you're gonna do is take your hands, place them on your quadriceps, and then just push into the thighs and kind of slide the hands up towards the knees, just underneath the kneecaps. And then just stay right there and breathe, inhale. And exhale it out. And again, inhale breath. And exhale it out. Good, and then just release the hands to the floor beside your hips. Palms can be up, legs are still straight up the wall. So the wonderful thing about legs up the wall, it's really a great thing to do towards the end of the day because it helps push excess fluids that might have been accumulating there in the lower body back up towards the center and it helps sort of disperse that. It can also rush the blood back to the heart. It's a little less stress on the heart because it's not having to pump uphill into that bloodstream. So here, gravity is simply pushing the blood flow back towards the heart. So it can be very restorative, very relaxing. I like to do it sometimes at the end of a long day because my legs really ache sometimes if I've been on my feet all day, which usually I am. And it just feels good to put those legs up the wall. You can almost just feel life draining out of the lower body coming back into the upper body. So stay for a couple more breaths. Inhale through the nose. And exhale it out. Again, inhale breath. Exhale breath out. Now what I want you to do is bend the knees going into butterfly stretch. So this will be probably the easiest butterfly stretch you've done. Sometimes if you're tight in the lower back glutes, um, it's difficult to sit up straight with your knees bent like this. Now grab a hold of your ankles and maybe push the heels down towards the groin. Then use your hands to push against the insides of the thighs, pushing your knees towards the wall. Good, now just slide the feet back up the wall a bit. Then I want you to extend the left leg all the way straight up the wall. Take your right ankle, flex your right foot, cross that ankle over the thigh, so just below the knee, and then use your right hand to push that knee out towards the wall. Looks like, a, looks like the number four here. Take a big inhale. And then exhale, slide your left foot down the wall. So you're bending the left knee, and as you're doing that, it is pushing that right shin in closer to your chest, meaning you're going to feel a great stretch in your right piriformis. It's like the figure four stretch that we always do on our backs, but instead of you having to reach through and pull, you're just letting that foot slide down the wall and create the stretch.
All right, slide your left leg back up the wall and just extend the right leg straight up. Bend your left knee and flex your left foot. Cross that ankle over the thigh, just below your knee. And with your left hand, push the knee away from you. Now slowly start to slide your right foot down the wall. So as you're doing that, it is pushing that left shin in closer to your chest, stretching into your left piriformis and glutes. Stay there and breathe, inhale. And exhale it out. Slide that right foot back up the wall. Extend that left leg up next to it. One more stretch here, so inhale breath. On the exhale, let's go into a straddle stretch. So just let your legs fall down towards the floor. However far they go, that's just where they go. Let gravity stretch your inner thighs. So take a big inhale there. And then exhale it out. underneath your knees inhale and on the exhale just simply close your legs together let your arms kind of help push the legs back together bend the knees slide the legs down the wall and then you're just going to roll over to one side and then push yourself up to a sit with your back against the wall and we will just finish right here with butterfly stretch like this so once again, having that wall back there to support your spine, it just feels like a much different butterfly stretch than if you were just kind of out there in the middle of the floor. So I want you to use your hands to gently press the knees open like that, and then just take a big inhale breath. And then exhale it out. From there, place the hands on the floor and just extend those legs out in front of you. And then just shake, shake, shake. Roll back and forth. And then we're gonna go all the way up with those arms. Inhale, breath. And then exhale, hands to heart center. And you are all done. Thank you very much for coming to yoga this morning, yoga stretch. Hope you feel nice and loose in the upper body, in the abs, in the lower back, in the hips, inner thighs. We kind of hit a lot of different muscles in our stretching today. So I will see everybody on Monday. I hope you have a great weekend. Enjoy this gorgeous weather outside. And if you are standing up, let's just do one last cleansing breath. Inhale up. And then exhale, hands to heart center.